This is 19th Street cleanup going on here. Well, now we're driving down Upland, which was a complete disaster. This is what the flood did at 19th and Upland. The stream's still roaring, and the cleanup is just beginning. Looks like they had big problems here throughout this flood. Many of the homes in North Boulder look like this. How's the bike ride? Slippery, huh? This is Folsom after the flood, covered in mud. This entire neighborhood is covered in mud. Debris covering the bike paths. Somehow these flowers survived. Crestview Elementary School was flooded. Here are the crews in here, trying to dry it out. Uh, today we are trying to get as much of the mud and water out as we can, right. remove some effective flooring instead of drying equipment, to get this building dry. For Crest, Crestview Elementary School, here is Folsom, and look at this, it's all muddy. We're headed over toward uh, Norwood right now, debris strewn. This is just one North Boulder neighborhood. Well, here we're back on Folsom two days after the big flood. You can see this is what most of the lawns look like here. And here's the creek a little overflow. It's still roaring through here. Things still look rough. Four Mile Creek has spit up millions of dollars of gold and these people are panning for gold dust. Millions and millions of dollars. The homeless people will be millionaires. It's a twist of fate for Boulder. <laughs> This is gold. There's a lot, huh? What's the story? Well, found outside the gas station. I found it out back in the mud. What's, so what is it? Oh, really? All the wash off from the riverway over there came just right behind the gas station. And we're finding all sorts of chokes, even like this bad boy right here. See that little tiny dye right there off my finger? That's a big old flake of gold. Which day was this that you had to get evacuated? Um, like four, three days ago. Three days ago, really? Yeah. You used to spend the night in the church? Yeah. Wow. Well, I don't know, but I went to Denver to, for like two days. So how is your house now? Is it good? Yeah. No problems? No, but the water was all over here. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of sticks and some trees were over. Did you get scared? Yeah. Yeah? I, I really did. How old are you boys? I'm 11. You're 11? I'm 10. 10? And I'm 9. Okay. Well, you made it through the flood. <laughs> I bet you can get a really good deal on this land now. We're on Tamarack. 
this is one of the streets that washed out. First of all, I'm hopeful I pray that that's all there is. But I, the cautionary note is this. We have not begun to search collapsed structures, tree piles, and washouts where we would likely be, where we would likely find human beings. And so uh, I don't want to be um, pessimistic, but I also want to be very realistic about the probability that we will you know, find out. Pray not, hope not, but that's the reality of the situation. We'll have the number of authorities flown, but we have uh, you know, maybe 40 people in one Chinook sometimes, and, and if those pilots are flying around and they see somebody in duress, uh, they'll land and just bring back a couple people. So we can, we can get you that at a future engagement. Thanks, Brad. The 1,200 number is both Larimer and Boulder County? Negative. 1,200, approximately, is what's been rescued in Boulder County by the National Guard and from Fort Carson using both helicopters and trucks. How many guardsmen are on the ground? There are over 200 National Guard down here in Boulder County. I think it's closer to 283. At least it was this morning at 930. Um, so that number fluctuates. Um, but ask me again Ask me again tomorrow, and I'll give you the accurate number of what was reported at the end of the day today. We were very responsive to the incident commander and the sheriff, and that forces are required in other locations in other counties. They'll be re uh, redispatched to those counties. Thank you. I just want to give you an uh, update on the situation in the city of Boulder. We have spent today uh, basically accepting the damage and the cleanup needs within the community. Uh, happy to report we have no reports of any fatalities or injuries that we're aware of uh, from the situation in the city. So obviously, we're uh, a little bit better off in the county. We've seen water receding throughout the day. We are now down to approximately 1,000 cubic feet per second in Boulder Creek. And at the worst of the situation yesterday, we were at 5,000 cubic feet per second. So we can see it come down quite a bit. We do, we are concerned about additional rain that is reported for tonight and tomorrow. However, we're hopeful that with the reduction in receiving waters that we will be able to handle a couple inches of rain. And that's what's in the forecast. We're not sure because channels have changed and those sorts of things, but again, we are hopeful. Uh, the city and county is working with Western Disposal and other companies in setting up some dump sites throughout the city where people can take their trash, they can take damaged furniture, damaged carpeting, that sort of thing. Um, those locations uh, will be announced on the website soon once we have those identified. So some of the things that we look forward, we're looking forward to getting back to some normalized operations in the city of Boulder. We did open the library, main library, and two of our rec centers south and east were open today. We hope to open all rec centers tomorrow with limited hours of 9 to 5. By Monday, our plan is to have all city facilities operational and return to some normalcy within the city. That is fluid, obviously. We don't know what's going to happen for sure tomorrow with the rain reports, but we're remaining optimistic and we hope to get back to normal operation. If we get through tomorrow, okay, then we're going to return to normal staffing shifts after 6 p.m. tomorrow. Now, as Sheriff Pally said, uh, we ask for patience in our community. We still do have some road closures. Some intersections still have debris in them. We have started the cleanup process, and that's going to be some time. So, we have patience. 